Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. When you're trading options, one of the most important analysis is the implied volatility. The implied volatility of the option is what allows us to measure how expensive or inexpensive relatively the option premium is. And in this example, I'm going to show you how to compare a group of similar stocks and how to measure their implied volatilities against each other. You could pick you know any any sector or create your own sector I'm just gonna stick to the Dow Jones 30 30 stocks in that group and over here the first the first graph that we see is this baseline is the implied volatility levels where each one of these stocks close that and then the ones in the green are the, impl the new implied volatilities if they increase today and by how much and the ones in the red are the ones that the, in the stocks that the implied volatility decreased them by how much. So you could get, so just over here really quickly, you see that WBA had the biggest change and it was a big decrease from yesterday. It also, uh, is, net, went from the highest implied volatility yesterday and now it's below these, the, these group over here. Also, you could tell over here that uh, Walmart WMT is trading at the lowest implied volatility out of the group and it decreased a little bit today as well. So we could change the baseline to do a different type of analysis and let's compare how the current implied volatility measures up to the uh, historical average implied volatility for the same stock. So I'm going to change that baseline to the implied volatility 52 week average. So now that's what this new line is. Let me reload that. That's what this new line is over here. And let's just take a take a look at what we see. So over here, I see that um, uh, Coca-Cola historically uh, traded at the lowest implied volatility in the group. And it looks like over here, Caterpillar traded at the highest implied volatility in the group. Right now, the implied volatility in Coca-Cola is 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 above it's 52 week average as we could see here 17.4 versus 14.4 so it actually increased above some of these and over here we see that the highest implied volatility out of the group is Nike and we could see how far away that is from its baseline 31.3 versus 24.1 and this gives us a really quick analysis of a group and how these stocks compare to each other and which ones are below their historical implied volatility and which ones are above which allows you to for many many different types of strategies potentially or just a way to focus in on certain stocks if you're looking for you know potentially buying the lowest implied volatility in a certain group because you think that the this group of stocks in this specific industry may move or you want to look for dispersion model or you want to look for ones that are very elevated away from their uh historical implied volatility and compare how the other the rest of them are doing uh looking for some type of a reversion hopefully this was helpful and see you guys in the next video